Hey guys, my name is Aspen Evans and I am here with the Oklahoma 4-H Summer STEMist program. And we're here with my friend Billy. Most of us like to eat, right? Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we enjoy three meals a day. And we definitely notice when we miss one. So does Billy here. Are you able to eat whatever you want, whenever you want? I don't think so. Although it would be fun to eat ice cream for breakfast and candy whenever we wanted, it would probably give us a tummy ache, right? Luckily, your parents tell you what you can eat, and the cafeteria staff at your school make sure your plate is full of veggies. They make sure you are maintaining a balanced diet with all five food groups. The human food groups are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and milk. Each of these groups is vital in creating a balanced diet. Well, guess what guys? Animals like to eat too. What do you think are some things that livestock like to eat? When we prepare meals for livestock, it is not called a balanced diet, but a balanced ration. They need food from all the five food groups as well. However, their food groups look a tad different. Let's see if you can find the similarities in their food groups. They have roughage, vegetables, grains, proteins, and minerals. Today you guys are going to be making your own livestock feed ration. For our feed ration, we're going to be using corn for energy, soybeans for protein, oats for roughage, and minerals. So for each of those things, you're gonna have a different type of food. We used popcorn for our corn, peanuts for our protein, raisins for our roughage, and check cereal for our minerals. And to end up with a 20% protein ratio, how many cups do we need of protein if we only have 10 cups? That's right, two. These cups are pre-measured out, so I'm gonna pour in my two cups. Now, if we need a 30% ratio of minerals and supplements, how many cups is that out of 10? That's right, that's three cups. Now, if we already have two cups of protein and three cups of minerals, how many cups do we have left of the remaining key ingredients to make our feed? That's right, five. This next part's gonna be really fun. You can use whatever of the remaining ingredients you want to make your mixture. Just remember, they all have to be in there. So I'm gonna use a little bit of roughage and a little bit of energy, but you can add whatever you want into yours. Once you're done doing that, we're gonna mix it up using large circular motions. If we were on a farm, this would probably be done by a feed mixer or bought at a co-op. But since we're not, we're gonna mix it ourselves today. And when you're done, you should have the perfect mixture of all five key ingredients that create a balanced diet. All right, guys, there's one final thing that animals require in a balanced diet. Can you tell me what that is? The answer is water. All animals and humans need water to survive. You can actually survive longer without food than you can without water. On farms, farmers make sure that their animals have access to clean and running water at all times. Now you guys know how to make a balanced ration. If you want more information, you can go to 4h.okstate.edu. Please remember to fill out the Flipgrid and the Microsoft Office forms at the bottom. And we want to see what your rations look like, guys. 